Hi, I'm Steve Stricker. I'm Alex Bainey. And I'm Todd Vanderwool. And we are in the FCLA, the Fulton County Leadership Academy 2023 class. And our uh, class project was to do um, a video. Actually, we're going to do a series of videos highlighting some of our non-for-profits in the area. And, uh, we each chose a separate non-for-profit to uh, kind of highlight as part of our project. And mine was the Fulton County United Way. And I chose the Fulton County United Way because of the diversity that it brings uh, to the community. Um, if you give a dollar to the Fulton County United Way, they distribute it maybe six or seven different ways. So I kind of feel like maybe it's a little bit of a clearinghouse for your, uh, you know, your charity, your charitable dollars. So I really uh, appreciate what they do and, and they do a great job of making sure that that money stays here local. So. That was the the uh, group that I chose, and we have a video here. We got a chance to talk to um, the chairperson, uh, Todd Van Sickle. Uh, he runs the um, the annual campaign. Uh, Jenny Moriarty, who is the uh, Fulton County chair or, uh, president, I believe, and then uh, also uh, Lauren Adley, who is on the board. So. We're going to have that video for you here coming up next, and we appreciate uh, everything that they do for the community. Hi, I'm Jenny Moriarty, the director of United Way. I'm Lauren Adley, the current board president. I'm Todd Van Sickle, board member and annual campaign chairman. So we're here today. Um, our FCLA project this year is uh, going to be highlighting some of the non-for-profit organizations here in Fulton County, and we wanted to talk to the folks from uh, the United Way and uh, of course uh, Jenny and Todd you've seen them a lot on our air because they do the uh, annual campaign and uh, Lauren you see her on uh, on their advertising for PWP quite a bit and uh, so we want to have them in and just kind of talk over a little bit about United Way and and what they do and how the you know programs that you guys uh, do benefits uh, you know people in Fulton County so Jenny, if you want to start uh, with uh, a little bit about what the United Way does. Um, yep, quick synopsis. Um, you, we do raise funds within our community. Um, we reach out to local businesses and individuals um, and during our campaign season in the fall. And with those funds, we help um, additional nonprofits in our area. Um, there's currently 11, I believe, that we supported this year. And it's anywhere from education to helping with um you know, paying utility bills to uh, pack a backpack that does the backpacks, um, food pantries. So we try to collect a wide range of agencies to help fund to hopefully hit uh, the majority of the needs in our community. Mm -hmm. uh, Lauren, what's uh, kind of your aspect and, and what you do with the United Way? Sure. So I'm the current board president, which means that I'm... Um, running the board meetings but as a board we come together to work on our campaign and to um, discuss how we're going to distribute our campaign funds to our agencies and so it's a lot of coordinating um, efforts between our board members to make sure that we're getting um, information about United Way out into the community um, to bring awareness about what United Way is and what agencies we help but also making our campaign successful each and every year. And there's a there's a tie-in too because it's not just the Fulton County United Way, but you're also working with the the bigger United Way organization as well, right? As far as how that all ties together. Correct. So, uh, the point about that though is we're we're a local board, mm -hmm. local volunteers, and so we do pay some annual dues, but we're independent basically in Fulton okay. County, so we pretty much run our own show here. So the dollars we collect here stay here in the community. Right. And very little goes to support anybody outside of the community. Mm -hmm. Just our annual dues may be to the United Way. Mm -hmm. And with those dues the past few years, we've been able to go after additional grants. Um, during COVID, uh, we ended up bringing in $183,000 into our community because of being part of um, Indiana United Way and Indiana Worldwide. So that was a big blessing. Um, so there, there are dues, like Todd said, but... We get a lot of that back tenfold. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the previous years, we got grants to help support reading programs in, in our local elementary schools. Okay. So what I was going to ask, what are some of the um, opportunities that you provide to some of the 
people in this county. Um, besides our our campaign that we raise funds for, that those are the additional grants we go after. Like he mentioned, we were able to give to Akron, Caston, and Rochester Elementary Schools ten thousand dollars, and we made it specific to reading intervention. We worked with the teachers when we wrote the grant, asked them what funds they would like, how they would like it spent. Um, worked with um, a, another uh, local United Way, and we wrote this grant and. Um, they were able to use it to purchase different computers, laptops, additional training for teachers, iPads, additional material that the, the students needed. So that was a big blessing to be able to help with um, the, the educational part because we kind of feel at United Way that that's the baseline. If we can get the education part down, that's just going to, you know, blossom into um, them in, later in adulthood and hopefully set them on the right path and maybe we'll help with some other areas that we have um, in our community that some struggle with. So, um, and then like that, we got that $183,000 that we were able to help so many um, people with that. Um, we were able to give out more to the agencies we support, United Ministries, um, some additional food pantries that they were just overwhelmed with everything that was needed, additional cleaning supplies that some schools were needing that they were able to apply for. So i um, very proud that we were able to help in that area. So our mission is basically to efficiently gather funds from the community and efficiently distribute them. So we support 10 or 11 agencies typically, uh, and those agencies include CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocate, Manitoba Training Center, uh, Council of Aging. We help support them and their senior activities in Transpo. Uh, Manitou Training Center, Pack a Backpack, RSVP, Salvation Army, United Ministries, among the agencies that we support. Mm -hmm. And I think the neatest thing about United Way is most often you run into people that they just want to donate to one organization, and that's great. But if you're donating to United Way, then you're donating to one organization that helps a person or a family in so many ways. Because if you have a child that's been removed from their home, um, and they're working with CASA, that child also needs a backpack from Pack a Backpack. Mom and dad may be able to get support from Recovery Cafe. Um, they may need food from the food pantry, which we also donate to. So the agencies that we're helping provide so much more to a family or an individual. Yeah. So a dollar donated to the United Way could be split up in four or five different directions. Right. And, and still uh, just find different ways to help out the, the community. That's that's amazing. We annually run our campaign in the fall of each year and uh, we go out to local employers and ask them to run employee campaigns. Mm -hmm. The uh, strength of our campaign is from individuals that give through their employee campaign. You can also donate outside your employer but those dollars are collected. We get a dollar amount. We typically shoot for about a hundred thousand. That's our general goal every year. Uh, then the agencies come to apply to us for a specific amount and with specific needs. Mm -hmm. And then our local board kind of deliberates that and meets with a local agency to help figure out how we can help them meet their needs. Mm -hmm. And if anybody's employer does not run a campaign within their um, company or um, business, then they can also donate to United Way individually or we can give them a pledge card to make a one-time donation or even talk to their employer. We're happy to go make a presentation to them to get a campaign going within that company or business. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of that uh, type of stuff where you go out to the companies, right? And yes. you, you work with them and it, it's very easy once the company is set up, right? The, the employee is. can just, you know, pick an amount and it's automatically withdrawn every uh, paycheck. Yep, and it's a tax write-off. Mm -hmm. um, there's, like she, uh, Lauren said, there's a pledge card. You get a receipt of that. Um, we get a copy of it. Your business gets a copy of it. And then you can use that for tax purposes, too. Mm -hmm. And we'll help the companies come up with ideas, and we'll even talk to the employees if necessary to talk about the campaign. And typically, uh, employees d donate through payroll deduction. So once we have the campaign, they make a choice. Their payroll department sets it up. It's pretty painless at that point in time. And it's a great way to support our community by uh, giving to Fulton County United Way. Then we disperse those funds to approximately 10 agencies. Mm -hmm. And it, it's the whole the whole county, right? So it's not just here in Rochester. And I think, Alex, you'll agree with me, one of the things that, you know, going through this FCLA program, 
we kind of had our eyes opened up a little bit. We really did. Yeah, there's there's a lot more stuff going on in Fulton County than, really than we ever really knew about. We've had the opportunity to visit many of the businesses in the community, and mm -hmm. we can see how you know these funds affected some of those businesses. Yes, Great. yes, and it was it was nice because I, I do think sometimes we're perceived as only Rochester, and mm -hmm. we're not. And I do think when we got the um, grant during the COVID time, that opened the doors. We got some applications from Kiwana, and there's a food pantry, and of course it's not coming to my mind the exact little town it was in, but it was nice that it's not just us. Akron, in any of those areas, Fulton, mm -hmm. we, we loved being able to support them. Um, so and Helping the, Hands is a good example. Yes. In Mentone, that goes, I mean, because of where they're located, They've got students in kind of Fulton County and Kosciuszko County through right. Tiffany Valley, so right. there's a lot of support that goes to our the residents and the people that can be impacted in Fulton County. Right. Yes. So some of your programs, I, I Tiffany Valley is one of those kind of border schools, uh, you know, so you can work with the kids that are yes. in that school system because a lot of them do live in Fulton County. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. Definitely. Kind of same thing with Caston as well. Yes, right. yeah. yes, yeah, it's, it's nice. And we have um, a board member that um, works at Caston School, so that helps intertwined. And I'm kind of tied with Valley, so <laughs> intertwined there with the Valley. Yeah. And then um, Lauren and, and a few other board members intertwined with Rochester, so it's nice. We have mm -hmm. um, some in with each school in our area. Yeah. yeah. So if anybody's interested in helping out, there's many ways you can help out. We're always looking for board members. We have approximately 10 board members. Okay. You can help out through your employer campaign. You can volunteer at any one of our agencies uh, that we support. Uh, there's various ways to help out. It doesn't always have to be financial. Mm -hmm. uh, all these agencies can use a little extra assistance. Yes. Yeah. Um, so your board meets how often? Once a month. It's the third Wednesday of every month. And currently we're meeting by Zoom to accommodate everybody's schedule. And it's been mm -hmm. really great. We've had great attendance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zoom is one of those things that, uh, you know, one of the good things, I guess, that kind of came out of everything that happened yes. in 2020. It, uh, everybody realized that, you know, hey, we can do some meetings here and we don't have to have everybody in the same room. Correct. It's, yeah. it's a pretty neat little thing that uh, came out of that. So um, let's talk a little bit about that. I know you talked about that grant that you received. I mean, the, some of the challenges that you guys went through uh, going through the pandemic. Yeah, and actually the first year after, um, we were kind of okay that year because everybody was really still in a giving spirit and then things the past year or two has it's tightened up because mm -hmm. just the way the economy's going and you kind of you know you have that false bliss that oh it's going to be over soon mm -hmm. and it's just kind of drug on so we we struggled this year with our campaign we saw some of the effects of of that more this year um, but our community just came out and did so well um, supporting us and and a lot of the nonprofits. So um, we just we thank everyone in our community too. But yeah, everybody we know is feeling the effects still. We had a pull back on our public events, and we Definitely. had fewer of those, and mm -hmm. we're gearing those up again for this year to have some more public fundraising and awareness events. And that's one thing that changed for COVID. But also, uh, the dollars went down in the last campaign, but also we. Got some support from the ARP grant to, to help with that too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so we hope to be back uh, full steam ahead going forward. Yeah, I, I know. I was a little shocked. I went to the grocery store last week, and I, the ham was like twelve dollars a pound, and I was like, <laughs> "When did that happen?" Yes. You know, so um, I don't do a lot of grocery shopping, <laughs> but it seemed like it was you know a little bit less than that last time I was in. So that's probably had a little bit of a residual yes. effect with you guys. Yes, yeah, it does. The inflation going up, then also, you know, the cost of food. I mean, our food pantries, uh, they need help too, and and uh, we try to do whatever we can, basically. Mm -hmm. And it, it probably hits double hard because, you know, you're, you're fighting to get donations at the same time as everybody needs more donations. Correct. So it's, you know, it's not like you can stockpile those, uh, mm -hmm. those goods for, you know, times when they're good and then use them when their times are bad. Right. So. I've been involved with United Way most of my career in other communities and it's great to have a chance to be involved here in Fulton County but what I typically have said that if if not you somebody in your family a neighbor an acquaintance somebody from your child's school somebody's getting a positive impact from United Way mm -hmm. in some way so if you think about it most everybody is impacted by United Way yeah. in our community. Yeah. 
So have you had some experience outside of Fulton County with the United Way as well? Yeah, I've been in other counties in Indiana. Yeah. And uh, so, we do a really good job here uh, for the size of our community and support. Uh, uh, and with our the citizens helping us out, uh, we have 10 agencies that we support. And uh, there always can be more, but we always need, we always need more funds to do that. So mm -hmm. like Jenny said, we had a very generous community. For our size to help out with something like this and mm -hmm. yeah i was going to ask you how you know in, in relations to to some of the other experiences outside of fulton county so they yeah, the other that, counties i've been in have large employers and there's usually million dollar campaigns mm -hmm. ours is a hundred thousand mm -hmm. it's due to the size of our community and mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of small smaller employers here and it's a little bit harder to get into some of those that's what we're always striving to uh, come across a new employer that will welcome us in to present to their employees mm -hmm. and ultimately it's not that the employer is supporting United Way we just ask for the individual employees to make a decision is this something you want to support right because you know a couple dollars a paycheck check up to ten twenty dollars fifty dollars a paycheck that's an easy way to do it and it goes to good causes yeah and you're not necessarily looking for an employer that has 50 to 100 employees. You'll you'll go in probably and talk to, to any size, You right? need them all, basically, yeah. to help support our community. Yeah. Well, Those are great. You're specific. I mean, 10 employees, and they're a huge contributor to us. So mm -hmm. it's uh, Webb's Pharmacy is a longtime contributor, and, and, you know, they just have a handful of employees, mm -hmm. and they're one of our biggest contributors. RTC so. does a good job with it, too. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we had a new opportunity this year. Uh, through the change in leadership at Woodlawn Hospital, we were able to present campaigns in Woodlawn Hospital this year. So we got our foot in the door there and got a great start, and hopefully we can build on that. Yeah. Make sure you get that signed up right, Alex. <laughs> exactly. And we have a pledge card here if you want. <laughs> there we go. We just signed up on camera. That way, you know. We can show them how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's a, yeah, such a great organization, and, you know, it, it takes you know, different members of the community to, to step up and, you know, become board members, become champ, care, chairman of the campaign. And, you know, so it's a little bit from everybody, isn't it? Yeah, it really takes each individual board member to kind of be a United Way champion, basically. Because mm -hmm. the more we can talk about it and create awareness, uh, that's our key is get, getting awareness of what United, United Way does. And mm -hmm. uh, RTC is great with that. Uh, We've, the radio station has been great supporting us too, WROI. Mm -hmm. uh, anything we can do to create awareness out there. And we've got some exciting, hopefully, coming later this year, some fundraising opportunities yeah. that we can uh, bring to the community too to create more awareness and allow pe more people to be involved in the United Way. Well, that's one thing too that, you know, I've, I've been here for five years now full time. And coming in and kind of getting a little bit tighter vision of, of what's going on in, in Fulton County and in Rochester it's it's just really been amazing to to see you know the the people mm -hmm. here you know really care for each other and you know they they do what they can to, to help make sure that not just uh, you know a certain group is is covered but everybody is you know trying yes. to help everybody and it's a really tight-knit community I really uh, and this FCLA has open my eyes to you know just a lot of the different things that are available in this community Definitely. so that's a great program mm -hmm. I, I think you'll agree with that most certainly uh, like I mentioned the, the opportunity to go and visit a lot of the businesses the, the ones the businesses that have been here the longest and been most successful they're engaged in the community and I think it's organizations like United Way that allows them to stay so engaged in many ways and the heart of our campaign is driven by all the citizens of the community. Mm -hmm. Whether it be $2 a week, $5 a week, $10 a week or more, that all adds up. And our general operating fund is about 100000 every year. That's what we strive for. Mm -hmm. And so those $2 doesn't seem like very much a week, but make the commitment to do that, and it will make a difference in our community. Yeah. I mean, that's $100 a year, and you, you, you know, start adding that up, and you yes. start getting uh, you know 100 people or 200 people. and that adds up quick. Right. Yep. Yeah. And it uh, it doesn't have to be painful every time the, the Correct. amount comes out of your check. Yeah, we don't want anyone to have a hardship because they are, do you know, donating. Right. We, we don't want that at all. But, yeah. yeah, sometimes you don't miss that dollar and, oh, wait, now. And it, it makes you feel good, too, to know that, hey, I've, I've helped and contributed in that some way. When you see 
um, the Packer Backpack that day that it's just amazing when that day happens. Hey, I help support that. Um, so it's just kind of, it's a good feeling too on your end. Yeah, and they do, how many backpacks do they do? It's a About crazy 700 number. or more, I think. Mm -hmm. Plus yes. they have a winter coat program too. Yes. Yes. So. yes. And then supplies throughout the year that they can still, teachers go in and get, or if a new student moves in, they're able to go in and get that. And it, it's just kind of nice to kids walk out with a new backpack, all their supplies. I mean, I remember being a kid and getting to do all that stuff. So, And as a parent, to um, supplies are expensive. Yeah. Uh, it, it is. Yeah. It's expensive. So to have that burden lifted off their shoulders for that is, is a blessing, too. And that's a great example of what United Way is all about. Jackie has a passion, and her team has a passion to help meet a need, backpacks, mm -hmm. coats, school supplies. And that's how... You know, big trees grow from small acorns, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we need. It's just people that have passion about helping their community out. And from the United Way, we can see if we can help you out. Yeah, yeah. Because we're always accepting new applications for agencies that we can support, too. 700 backpacks, that's yes, that's that a, lot, a lot of backpacks. A lot of packing, yeah. too. Yeah. That's yeah. approximately. I don't have the exact number. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. And the supply list that have come out in recent years go far beyond paper and pencils. I and mean, we were yes. talking headphones, Kleenexes, Lysol wipes. Jackie and her team have it all. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they give a, a full backpack that uh, gives them a good start. So, yes. Well, that's great. Uh, you know, if there's ever anything that we can do, you know, we've always been uh, very willing to try and help you guys out in the, every way that we can. And RTC has been a great partnership, and we appreciate that. RTC helps us with an annual campaign video, too. Right. That we, uh, share in some of our presentations and I know you show it on your channels and sometimes commercials in between sports events and things like that and that's that's a big help. Yeah it's a it's a great place to work I mean I'm not trying to butter anybody up with this <laughs> but it, it really is I mean like I said I've been here about five years full-time and it's just been uh, it's just been great and yeah, even through the pandemic I mean it, you know it very easily could have been okay everybody just go home and you know we'll we'll see it when it's over and it was never even discussed and in the hospital this year they welcomed us with open arms and mm -hmm. we did about 30 different presentations almost yeah and we got a great start for building on that and thank yeah. you to the hospital too yeah I, I think that uh, the direction that the hospital is going you know what a, what an asset to the community that the hospital is as well yes and I think they're going in a great direction right now too yeah. For sure, we're trying to get involved in the community a little bit more, and mm -hmm. I think this is one ways that we can do it. Yeah. Yes, Kathy and HR has done really mm -hmm. good with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's everybody working together yep. to, to help everybody out. And you know, this is a cliche, but I mean, it does take a village to make this work, and we've got a great yeah. village in Fulton County and our communities that yeah. help make United Way successful and hopefully contribute to the success of our agencies. Yeah, yeah. And the FCLA program that uh, that we've been in, I know Todd, you said you've been right. through it. Uh, I don't I think know. Lauren had been too. Lauren yeah. has been too. And I speak a lot at them, so yeah. yes, I, I you yeah. need to, you need to do it because it's it's really interesting. I, I, mean, I I've a, been asked, but I I'm lacking some free time with the children and coaching <laughs> I have, so yeah, it yeah. does need to get done. Maybe I I've got one about ready to ship off to college, so that there might help go. a little. Yeah. Well, congratulations too, by the yes, way, to uh, Molly Mo. Uh, yes, uh, yes. As we we like to call her. I mean, <laughs> you were down at you were talking about that. You were down in Indy yesterday. Yes. She got a huge uh, scholarship yes. from the IHSA. Yeah, Cato Memorial Scholarship. She's one of twelve students um, in Indiana that got it, and um, it, it was a huge honor. And there, a lot of those kids were valedictorian or salutatorians, which Molly is a valedictorian, co-valedictorian at our school, and just very. Um, very elegant banquet we were at. It was very eerie being at the Colt Stadium and no one there. Um, but yes, great honor. Very, very proud of her. Can't can't say enough. So she did miss a softball game last night, but the girls pulled it out. Yeah, a um, big win for them. Yes, yeah. I think Corinna hit a grand slam. So yeah, we were kind of watching on Game Changer. So we were happy with that. <laughs> Able to get through it without her for one, yes. for one game for anyway. One game, yeah. yeah, we don't want to do it too many times. No. But a uh, yeah, great honor. You know, Val. You know. You talk about community, you talk about family, you talk about your daughter, and, uh, you know, I was talking with Val, he's like, you know, I've never heard anybody that said anything bad about Molly. <laughs> I've, I've even asked, you know, <laughs> nobody, will, nobody will ever say anything bad about her, they just all love her, so, yeah. you know, it's just uh, a testament to, to you. Thank and you. Even, even your husband. I guess, Give yeah. Give him a little, little credit <laughs> with that, right? Yes. So. Yeah. Well, anybody... Anything else you want to add before? Well, thank we... you for this opportunity. Yes, thank I mean, you. Yeah, well, thank you for coming in. Yeah. RTC, Joe McCarter has always been supportive of us, and 
and Fulton County leadership with uh, Mark Kepler has done a great job there. And yeah, unfortunately, he's retiring this year. So right, like his so. last class. Where yes. his last class? Oh. So he does great. Yeah. yeah, even with the the younger, the junior leadership, mm-hmm. um, Molly did that, and even when COVID hit, he was able to make it work for those that missed it their junior year. And yeah, he's done great things with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a, another great steward for our community. Yes. He's going to be missed, but. There's some pretty good people that are going to be uh, trying to fill his shoes. Yes, they have big shoes to fill. Big shoes sure. to fill, yeah. He's been doing it for a long and time. And I would encourage Fulton County leadership for somebody to do that because I was new to the community about seven years ago. Mm-hmm. And I went into the program. That was a great way to meet people and learn a little bit to lay the land of what companies were in, in the area. And yeah. So I'd encourage people to, if you're interested, to look at Fulton County Leadership Academy. Yeah. I second that. I was born and raised here and went through the Youth Leadership Academy, but still learned so much going through the Adult Leadership Academy. You just Mm -hmm. don't know what's in town until you go see it, like the tours of all Mm -hmm. the businesses and what they actually do there. And you're like, this is incredible. It's in Rochester. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of them that really struck me, because I I know they're there, but airbag. Yes. You know, you go buy them, they're on Old 31, you know, Michigan Road, whatever, and you go buy it all the time, and you don't really realize what they do, and then you actually go in there and like, they they're worldwide, yeah. you know, and they're doing these systems in, you know, cities everywhere. And it's like, okay, that's yeah. right here in Rochester. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you get that a lot. You know, you get that, uh, you don't real, real, really realize, you know, like the foundry is another one. Yeah, like Rochester Metal Products. That's a perfect one. I mean, yeah. they're a great campaign supporter, too. They're one of our largest uh, yeah. givers from their employee base. And yeah. when you have a chance to go through there through the Leadership Academy. Yeah, some pretty cool things happening in our community. There is, there really is, and it's it's neat to see you know all those different things. It's been a really fun program. So, mm-hmm. if you haven't uh, got a chance and you, you get a chance to do the uh, Fulton Leadership Academy, uh, I would definitely so recommend it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, well, we thank you for uh, coming in. We'll uh, put some information on the screen here for uh, United Way and and how we, you, they can get a hold of you if. Your employer has a program. I would encourage you to uh, participate in that program. And if your employer employer doesn't have a program, uh, you can take this information to them. And I'm yes. sure that we'd be uh, happy to meet with I'm anybody. sure that Todd and Jenny and and Lauren would love to come and talk to your employer and uh, get you signed up. Yep. So, well, thanks everybody for coming. Thank you. Thanks, Alex, Thank you. and uh, we'll uh, we'll see. You. I'm sure we'll be. Uh, working on that new campaign coming up before too long. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you.